Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Mary, Brenda, Gail, Sherry, Jean, Juanita, Christine, Annette, Tammy, Beth Ann, Donna Marie, Paula, Jackie, Darlene, Ginger, Kiona, Joan, Erica, Kim, Grandma, Purple Paisley Planner, Rindy, Bobby, Melissa, Amy, Bonita, Jane, Rita, Sue, Bonnie, Lynn, Michelle, Janet, Marie, Patricia, Pamela, Joanne, Sharon, Debbie, Marianne, Stacy, Nancy, and Lynn. And a huge thank you to my VIPs. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. We have a lot going on today. We are doing um, a bonus video after this video. That bonus video is for everybody to watch, but only members can chat. So if you're not a member for 99 cents, you won't be able to ask questions or chat with us in the next video, but you can watch and uh, see what we're talking about. Yeah, whatever we're talking about is up to the members, whatever it is, we can do some more science based class or just answer questions and chit chat, whatever you want. Hello, everybody. Good morning. I'm so excited you guys are here. We are live on YouTube at youtube.com slash Melody Lane. For those of you on Facebook, I can see your chat. I can't, if you're in a group, I can't see what your name is. And if you're in the Facebook chat, you will not be eligible for the Cricut Cutie giveaway. So those cuties you saw at the beginning, I think there's 12. The winner gets to choose which one they want. And I never say this, but you get them in a box. So these that I show you and take pictures of are mine, but I have extras and you get the ones that are still sealed in a box. Most of the time, they've never even been opened. So you get those brand new Cricut Cuties. You can't see me. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. Hi, now you can see me. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I was looking at the right camera, but I didn't have the right camera on. Um, so thanks for that. Here I am. <laughs> was That's where I sit most of the time in my video. So was it weird that I was like invisible? Um, so we also have to get enough likes for those cuties. How many are in this video so far? I know there'd be more joining us. Today is also Pinterest inspired <laughs> uh, design space, which is really popular. We do that on the fourth Saturday of every month. And uh, a lot of you didn't know that I give a cutie away, cutie away once a month. So I announced that in January that for this year, at least every month, I don't know when it'd be random Saturdays that I do the cutie giveaway. So make sure you're paying attention to my post and my channel and my emails that to say when the Cricut cutie giveaway is if you're here just for the cutie, but you're going to learn a lot also. Um, what else? The bonus video, the cutie giveaway. You do have to be in the chat on YouTube to be in the cutie giveaway. So those of you on Facebook, hop on over to YouTube and make sure you guys are watching it live because you will have to chat at a certain time to be entered for the giveaway. So turn underneath the YouTube video, you'll see a red line. Uh, make sure that red line goes all the way over to the right. If you see an ad, sometimes the ads come up. I have no control over ads or anything. Uh, make sure you didn't miss any of the video and you're completely live. So you will be able to chat with us, answer questions while we're live and all of that. Um, so to be in the YouTube chat, it's completely free to subscribe to my channel. Click that bell so you know when I do videos. You get notifications if you turn on all notifications and make sure you're logged in to YouTube and you should be able to chat. It's completely free. Um, if you hit the join button, you get the emojis. I got cricket emojis, I got melody emojis and some other things and you get a little cricket badge next to your name and your name turns green. 
That's uh, why you see all those people with green names today. Yes, I'm teaching you how to design in Pinterest. It's so fun. And I found a design that is really fun I wanna do. And then we'll look through some others too. And we'll do as many as we have time for. And some people say it's freezing. Um, so I don't know that it's freezing for anybody else. All right, should we get started? Um, let's go on over to Design Space. Okay. Let me, I have three monitors going here. So, um, Sometimes it's hard to see. I got chat and all of my monitors. Um, okay, so here's design space. The first thing we do, also did I say we do this every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern? Um, we go through the new images. So let's click on images and then we're gonna go to image sets. Now, every time I do this, people ask, how did she get there? So pay attention, maybe have um, design space open and welcome Ginger. Click on images. And if you if it comes to this, you need to go up here to all images and click image sets. And then these top ones that I have, I, not everybody's account has these like this, I don't think. I don't know why mine do. Um, these are older mystery boxes that have released. I don't know when they will move those away. Uh, oh, these are new. So every week there's tons of new image sets. In each image set are tons of images. So we have realistic beach icons, there's 85. Now we're not gonna go in and open up each image and look for them. You can do that on your own time because this would take us hours to see them all. Welcome to Mitra Allen. And then we have garden basket, 55 images. Nature cartoons, 30 images. Nature cartoon printables, 10 images. So now they're the same images. The reason there's only 10 in this one and 30 in this one is because this one has more options. You see this is a layered image, but they have it as a printed image here. But then they also have the outline of the image. And then here, when you see just one color behind it, this is drawn on there. So that's, this includes each image drawn, each image with an outline, and each image with layers. And then we have vaccinated 20 images. So there's 20 images. You could do a lot with these. Put them on a t-shirt. Um and flower reusable cup designs. Flower reusable cup designs. I, I've never seen this one of reusable cup designs. It looks like they're four tumblers. Welcome Leslie. So I haven't even seen this one. So these are a curved design to put on for tumblers. That is really cool. I haven't seen these. There's 30 of them. And then Heather Roberts Wedding. There's 41 images. Oh, look, I loved her first. And it's a paw. Eat, drink, and be married. Honeymoon fund. He put a ring on it. Happily ever after. That is fun. Oh, and then camping, Heather Roberts camping, 20 images. Let's get toasted, one blessed camper. Home is where I park it. Always take the scenic route. 
These are really fun. Liv Lufkin. Miscellaneous sports. They have pool, badminton, weightlifting. Awesome. There's volleyball. I mean, there's lots of volleyball images in the design space, but there's 40 images. Uh, Candy is asking how to become a member. You really have to do it on a computer or there is a link in the description of the video on YouTube. If you scroll down, you will see how to become a member. And somebody on Facebook is asking how to make comments on YouTube live. So on YouTube, there is, if you go to the YouTube app or on the computer, there's a button for live chat. You just click the live chat and start chatting, start typing. Sparkling Sweet Treats, 72 images. Clocks, 46 images. Anzac Day, April 25th, 93 images. These, all the, these are all free to access members if they have a green A right here. So all of these that I'm showing you do have a green A so far. They are, if you do not have Cricut Access and you do not want Cricut Access, you can purchase any of these images for like 99 cents. Uh, but Cricut Access, if you get the premium Cricut Access, you have to pay for a year in advance, but it comes out to only $9.99 a month and you get 20% off images, or not images, you get 20% off materials. Oh, we missed this one. Paddle boarding silhouettes. That's a new one. They haven't had paddle board, boarding before. Welcome, Nolene. Uh, Cinco de Mayo designs, 35 images. That's coming up really soon. Vintage phones, 24 images. Always a mother sentiment, 48 images. Beautiful florals, 20 images. Italian brush stroke sentiments. These are all in Italian. Uh, we have a question. Is there a way to tell which images are layered and which are printed and which are drawn? Um, so you can tell they're drawn by like this pink one. It's a solid color and then it just looks like it's drawn. It's a very, very thin lines. Um, and then this is just an outline. that looks like that's all that one has. So the phones, uh, this is an outline. This one is layered because it has different colors. Uh, when you mouse over it, it will say printable in the, when you click on it to open it up. Um, this is, has drawn on it. And then these are, these are not layered because they're just one color. But for these, you just, if it has color like this, it's usually uh, layered. If it's very detailed color, then it's usually printable. Welcome, Debbie. Uh, and if you support us on my channel for $4.99, you get all of my projects as well. But I suggest if you want all of my projects and only my projects, then go to patreon.com slash Melody Lane, and it's only $2. Um, clocks, 46 images. Oh, we went through these. Uh, always a mother sentiment. Uh, thanks for being mad, mom and dad. Oh, that's so cute. So these, you can see it's all one color and then it's writing because it's very thin. Beautiful florals. Storybook garden illustrations. Those are cute. Heather Roberts Christian bundle. Never, or love never fails. Coffee and grace, bless this mess. Faith over fear, there's 26 images. And when you're asking a question, I would love for you to put your uh, question in all caps. Uh, team sports, 60 images. 
You guys, these images were all just done this week. Rock Guitar Designs. Hygie Ocean. German Brush Stroke Sentiments. Graduation Elements. How can you tell vinyl designs? Um, you can cut most things from vinyl or paper, but let's say we want to cut out this with all these squiggles and stuff. If you cut that out in paper, you would have to piece all those little pieces. You'd have to glue them on something. If you cut it out in vinyl or like this one, all those pieces will stay where you put them and it's just much easier. So you have to look at the design like these. They're not the words are not connected. So each letter you would be gluing somewhere. So the I, the S, the IT, it will not stay like this. So if you wanted to cut out one of these, you would want to use vinyl or iron on or infusible ink, something where you can transfer it from the mat to your project. Uh, if you did this on paper, you would just have to place each letter. Uh, this part looks like it may be welded together, so that would be one word, but you would have to piece everything if you did this on paper. So you just have to look at the design and see what you like. Graduation elements, summertime designs. There's 86. I love those. Look at the palm trees. I gotta look at these. France, Jour de la Bastille. Uh, that's kind of like their 4th of July. It's on July 14th. Canada Day Long Cut Porch Signs. There's four. Fourth of July Long Cut Porch Signs. There's four. Cute Cats. There are 40 cute cats. Um, so they have them in layered like this. So like this one that's layered, it would be great to do with paper, I think. I like layered images with paper. Uh, this is drawn, so it cuts out around it and draws on it. This is just the outline. These solid ones like this, welcome Heather, uh, are great with infusible ink because you get all that black you see would be a design. And then sparkly sweet treat printables. So they had sweet treats above, and then these are printable ones. There's 18 images. Sunny summer phrases, 150 images. See how this would take up the entire video. Flamingo vibes, ice cream crew, summer vibes only, mermaid squad. These are so cute. Simple summer, 24 images. Abstract shapes, 11 images. Summer phrases, 34 images. Music player, 23 images. These are vintage, big time. Sensational flower blooms, 51 images. Divine flowers, 231 images. 231 images in this set. And if you have access, these were all just added this week. How's the weather? 36 images. Wedding anniversary banner. Oh, they're made a beautiful banner so you can use it for wedding or anniversary or any, it can be for anything you really want. That's awesome. Italian flourish script designs. And they have them, this would be drawn, cut out around the paper and then drawn on. And then I'm sure they also have it like this that you'd want to do in vinyl. Yes, uh, if you're looking for uh, Star Wars mystery box images, I did a video showing them all, showing how you get them also. Uh, somebody on Facebook, Brenda, says, it's my first time for me to enter this contest. Since you're on Facebook, you're not entering the contest. You have to be on YouTube to chat. And it's not me saying you have to be on YouTube. I would 
choose it from anybody, but Nightbot chooses the winner. He's an AI, so he randomly chooses a winner. Simple four element icons, 12 images. Uh, Mother's Day badges, 30 images. Relax at the beach, 60 images. Heather Roberts mental health, 13 images. Heather Roberts officially vaccinated, 10 images. Now, did we go into these last week? I think we did. So we'll go through some of these if you missed last, last week's video. Okay, shall we get started on uh, Pinterest designs? Um, I did a video on the Star Wars images to show you how to get them. Okay, now let's go to Pinterest. So I was looking, I just put in t-shirt. Uh, I thought today, let's just do nothing themed, just a t-shirt. Look at that giraffe. That giraffe would be cute. You would just layer the giraffe and place it where you want it on the shirt coming from the back. Okay, so I really liked this shirt. It says good vibes. I took a little screenshot of it so we could see it up close more. I kind of want to do this one. Do you guys want to learn how to make this? You could use any, once I teach you this, you could use any um, words you want. Uh, I've never done this. <laughs> so you're going to watch me figure it out on my own. Um. So is this good vibe something you'd like to do? If we have time, we can do a little more. We can, we have a bonus video after this. Um, so maybe we can even do another bonus video. Uh, we'll do the bonus video around 1215. Yeah, I, I thought people would like to do that shirt. I love this shirt, Alexa, homeschool the children or choose happiness. I mean, these are just fonts. Here's what I found. Alexa, stop. Sorry about that. I forgot about that, that she might want to say that too. Or this one might be one we want, might want to figure out to do, the more love. But let's go ahead and do the good vibes. So we're going to go back here. We got to find a font first. Uh, so let's go to text. Let's just go ahead and write in what we're doing. I think I'm going to have to do these separately. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> okay, good vibes. So we're going to start off not like this. I'm going to put this on a separate row. Now, they're going to end up the same. Actually, this font, we, let's put it in bold. So it's a little thicker. Um, now we're going to, this is just the free Cricut font. And I think this font is pretty good like this. Let's move the letters a little closer together. Uh, how many likes do we have? Have you guys all liked the video on YouTube? Uh, Mary Lou is asking, should it be caps? It is your choice whether you do caps or not. This picture is not caps at all. There's no caps at all. Thank you, Donna. She says, good vibes is what Melody puts out every day. I really try that. Okay, so now I want to change these. We have to just do the outline of this good vibes. So I'm going to go to advanced right up here in the middle of the top. And we're going to ungroup lines. 
So we have 256 likes. That is not enough. You guys got to like the video. How many people do we have watching? Okay, so this one, we just want the outline. I'm going to try. I've never done this before, so I'm going to try a few things. First, I'm going to change the color of these so you, we can see them better. We'll just make these the same color. Um, I'm going to duplicate this one because I have an idea. I'm going to turn this inside and see if this is going to work. Oh, that's... No. Oh, maybe. Uh, I'm going to change this number. This is 0 0.083. I'm going to try 9. Nine fifty nine and apply. Now I'm going to slice this. We're going to see what happens. Okay, that gave an outline, but not really thin enough that we want. So we're just going to move these over. We have another one. We're going to duplicate that. This is in bold. I'm going to see if I can put this in regular. Instead of bold, it changes it back to the original color. Now I'm going to do offset. But not so small. We're going to do it like that. Okay, I think this is better. And we're going to slice. So there we are. So if you're on an iPad or a phone watching and you don't see a thumbs up button, you have to close out the live chat and then uh, go to the thumbs up. Wow, this looks a lot like that one. It's not exactly, but it doesn't have to be exact. Um, but I'm going to try one more time. So I'm going to set that up there because I like that one. We're going to duplicate this just to have another one so we don't have to redo it. Uh, that is on bold. We want to change it to regular and change the color. And we're going to offset. Oh, wait, we're not going to offset yet. I want to move the letters closer together. Um, I want this V over closer, so I'm going to ungroup. And I'm going to click on the V. I'm going to use my keyboard and move it over. So I used my keyboard keys to move it over so I knew all of these would be straight. So now I have to select them all and then click Offset. Is that what I used before? I think so. And now I'm going to select them and slice. Oh, I can't slice. Because when I select them, because I ungrouped them, I have more than two layers. Each one of these over here is considered a layer. And you cannot slice more than two layers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click this V, hold down my shift key on my keyboard, and then click on each letter of the green, not the black. And I see I have them all over here in green. Now watch what happens um when i weld it when i weld it it changed it all to one layer so now i can select them both the green and the black and click slice and there we have it i think i like that better now you guys can do it any way you want. I just showed you how to do this part. Um, so let's get rid of these that I don't like. We're going to save this one just in case. 
I'm going to group these together and I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to hide them. So if I ever need, because I'm going to be welding and stuff, if I ever need to go back to this part, I have those in here. And this is a slice result. So it's this one and this one. So we don't need those. Um, somebody says, Linda says she doesn't like the B and I touching. I like the space in there. Um, it's depends on what you want. I'm showing you how to do it so you can totally do it. Uh, when we look at the picture, they have the I and B touching. Of course, we do not have to make it exactly like this. We can make it however we want. Okay, and I want to, I feel like I want these good a little closer together. I'm going to ungroup this. I'm going to select this and because we haven't ungrouped this word, we can still just move these closer together like that. I think I like that. So I'm going to unhide this one delete that one we're gonna save this one uh, we're gonna duplicate and hide okay um we're gonna ungroup i really just grouped it so i could hide them all together and we're gonna move this here you know what i'm gonna make this a little bigger because this was the offset, it's a little bigger. We can, we can make this a little smaller too. Okay, I think that looks there. I'm what I'm doing right now is kind of just measuring the size of the letters to get them about the same, that O and E. Okay, that looks good. Now I wanna make sure they're even, so I'm gonna select them and align on bottom. Oh, we can't do that because of the bottom of the G. Let's try to align on top. And we can because the B and the D will line up there. Okay, so does that look good? I need to change this to that. And if you are asking questions, there are people answering the questions in the chat too. Okay, we are going to duplicate this and hide this. I'm gonna hide them both separate. Okay, so now we need to make that look similar to this one. As you can see, this other G is on top of that one. And since we would be using iron-on, or you could use infusible ink, um, or you could make this a sign. This doesn't have to be a t-shirt. You could make this a card. You could make it a sign to put on your wall. Um, this we need to make this one look a little bigger than this one like it's over top of it without actually putting it over top the same with this one and the same with this one so that's going to be the hard part but we're going to do it we're going to duplicate this let's go ahead oh you know what these are not grouped let's group these okay you know what? I'm just going to get rid of all these because I want them grouped. I'm not messing with moving those around. So did I group this one? I did. Okay, so now we're just going to duplicate this one. Let's go ahead and color them so we know what we're doing to match the shirt. Uh, we need to change this to pink. So we're going to go down here. We'll change this one to yellow. This will be the second one. 
This one will be blue. And this one is it's kind of a coral, reddish. We can make it any color we want. Let's do that color. Welcome, Angie. Okay, and then we need a couple of extras, definitely, because we are going to be slicing and dicing. Uh, so I'm going to put this here. So let's line these up how we want them to look. So they're not all even. Let's align them to the left. So they're all kind of straight. Let's also click on align and distribute vertically. So they are the same between all of them. Okay, so that one moved down a little bit. Now we're gonna have to slice, so we're gonna have to have extra pieces and that's why we have this. I'm also going to duplicate this again and hide it just to make sure we're good and we don't have to redesign anything we've already done. So I wanna slice some things and uh, it's not gonna work So what we're going to do is we have to weld this one because we can't slice more than one. So we're going to weld them. The green one, or yellow, I do know my colors. We're going to weld each one of these. I'm also going to weld these. The one in the layers panel that I have hidden is not welded, so if we ever need to make any things. So somebody has said that the inside of the E should be clear. There's nothing I can do about that, uh, unless maybe I picked a different font that had more space inside the E. Uh, we don't want to contour out that one in the E, otherwise it wouldn't have that at all. Um, what happens, somebody said, what happens to the middle of the E and the B when you cut it? It, we're using vinyl or iron on, so it will be fine. It will be there just like everywhere else. Okay, so what I want to do first is I'm going to take these two and I'm going to slice this. So we're going to slice. Okay, so now we're going to move this away. We're going to move all these pieces away. And there's still more pieces. We're going to move these away. Now, we also need to take down the bottom of these pieces. So to do that, I'm going to go down here and hit contour. And we're going to click down here to get rid of those pieces. Okay, so now we have one of these. I'm going to duplicate this a few more times. We have this one's garbage. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's not. Oh, we're good. I was thinking I had to, you know what? Wait a minute. Remember, this is my first time doing this. I want these back. Okay, you know what? I'm going to undo. So we are going to go back. Okay. So now we're, we have sliced it because we can see the lines through here. I'm going to grab the yellow ones. I want to grab these yellow I think that's these okay yeah so right here are these small little yellow ones and I'm gonna hit the shift key and select the other yellow ones the whole word and we are going to weld that back so now we have that back 
and then we need to move this let's move this we don't want these pink ones and we want to contour these out So now this one looks like this. Uh, Darlene says, I can't find the font for the I can't I'm crafting today. It's an image in design space. It's not made from a font. It could even be somebody's handwriting. Okay, so now we are going to do the same thing with this one, but I think we can duplicate this one and make this one blue. But we will have to still chop. Oh, because these are the same, because I welded them back. Okay. We're going to bring this one forward. We're going to bring it to the front. And we're going to line this back up. And make sure it's even aligned to the left. I'm going to move it down just a little. I'll make sure these are aligned, distribute vertically. Oh, see, now that didn't work because this has to be lined up perfectly with that. Okay. I do want these to be even to the left or the right. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to slice just these, the yellow and blue. So I don't have to glue these back, weld them back. Welding is kind of like gluing. So let's see if we really need to do that. We can just take these all away. I'm gonna move that back so I can grab these and then just put this back. So I didn't need to do all that. We're good, it's easy now. We gotta take the yellow and get rid of these little pieces at the bottom. So remember, I am figuring this out all on my own. I've never done this before. Oh, we gotta select the yellow to contour. So if you think this isn't a very good tutorial because she doesn't know what she's doing. I've never done this before. I just chose an image on Pinterest in figuring out how to do it. So we gotta move this one to the front. And that looks good. I want to make sure they're even to the left or to the right, doesn't matter. And we're going to slice this one, these two. If you don't have slice available, make sure you only have two gray layers. Okay, and because I have this whole one, I don't need this one. this back up we know right where that goes because let's zoom in see how you can see where they go now these will cut on different mats and you will have to place them on the mat let's contour out these so we're going to select these and put the orange one back up here and we know right where to place it. All right, what do you guys think? Now, let's save this. Now, for those of you that come to my videos every week, when I do the Pinterest inspired, you know that I share them with you. I share them on YouTube. So make sure if you are wanting to win one of these Cricut cuties, 
um, you are subscribed. So the winner will get to choose. Welcome Natalie from Denim Periwinkle Twilight Lilac Wisteria Blush Rose Merlot Candy Apple uh, Sunflower White Emerald and Mint. So some of these, the rose and the mint and the lilac are all from 2017. So they're more rare. But we're not doing that quite yet. But make sure you uh, are chatting here. Okay, uh, let's get back to the design space. Um, I think we're good. Are we good with this one? Let's get rid of these pieces. Let me go back and clean up this. Let's go ahead and let's make it black. And um, let's hide it. So we know the black one in here is just the full one of these. Now when we click make it, uh, these will all cut separately and you will have to put them on. Now you'll have to put down one color at a time, iron on it on. I would do the top one first, iron it on for like five to 10 seconds, and then do the next one for five to 10 seconds. As long as you can take off the uh, transfer tape that it comes with, and then put the next one down. Uh, but when you put the next one down, you have to make sure you cover it. Welcome, Trinice. Um, So when you're ironing them all on, I'm going to cancel this, you'll want to make sure they're all covered with the transfer. You just can put the same transfer back on each one just so they're protected. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not done with the giveaway yet. First, um, is there another shirt you want to do that's really quick? There's, I mean, so many of these you can do. Uh, oh, wait, there was one I saw that I thought would be really easy. The hope one, um, I can show you really fast how to do that because I think it'll be really quick. Uh, let me save this. And then after we do the giveaway, uh, I will share this project. Okay, we're gonna go to a new one. Yes, you could use contour to fill them in. What size would you make that design on a t-shirt? That, that's a question that I don't understand that everybody asks. You make it whatever size you want to make it. I measure the shirt and picture where I want it on the shirt and just measure how big I am picturing it on the shirt. That's all I can tell you. This together, we'll group these together. Uh, this is 7.6 by five. All you have to do is drag this to any size you want. You could do it really small and put it on the pocket of a shirt. You could put this across your butt in the pants. Uh, you could do whatever you want with this. You could take this black one that's in here, take this one and put it down your sleeve. You can do anything you want to do. There are no rules. Okay, um, oh, I made that really small. Okay, let's go to a new one. We're gonna do that hope. Did you guys see the hope? H-O-P-E in the square. You can make it any word you want. We're gonna start with hope. 
H O. Then we're going to the next line and putting P E. Um, and then we need the square. So what we're doing, we could just get another square and measure it and slice it through this one. I'm going to change the color so you can see it better. But with offset, all we have to do is click offset. But if you don't have offset, let me go ahead and show you how to do it the other way. So I just duplicated the same square and I'm just going to make it a little smaller. Select them both and align in center and then slice. So now we have this. We're going to move the bl uh, blue to the back so we can grab these. And you know what? We're just going to ungroup to letters. And I didn't change the font. You can choose a different font if you want. I just like to show you how to do it. We don't have time to be finding fonts. Okay, let's move this out of the way because I'm going to try something first. So I want these to line up. So I'm going to align top for those. I'm going to align bottom. Align, not arrange. For these, doesn't really matter. You can align top too. And then this way, I'm going to align these two to the left, I think. I could center them all also. That's why I was thinking. Oh, see, now I don't like that. So I am going to center vertically. Nope, wrong one. So we're going to up undo. <laughs> Excuse me. Center horizontally there. And then because we did that, we're going to grab these and center horizontally. So we click a line, center horizontally. There. Now we have this box. Um, you know what? I want to, I'm going to attach these because if I don't attach them, let me change the color so you can see this better. If I do not attach these, watch what happens when I hit make it. That's not what we want to happen. So we're going to cancel this. So all we have to do is attach these. So we're going to attach. We're going to put this in here. The reason I wanted those attached right now is because I want to center them in this box. So I'm going to select it all and align and center. So now it's centered in the box. And now we're going to attach them all. And now, let's get rid of these boxes. Click make it, and you have that. We're gonna put this on a shirt, we want it bigger. Okay, got that? So make sure you guys are chatting in the chat if you want to win the cuties. There's the cuties. And make sure you're chatting in the chat on YouTube. And we are going to be doing a um, bonus video. So to be able to chat in the bonus video, you have to be a member of the channel. If you are on Patreon, you have to do it through my Patreon Facebook group. Um, so go to the Facebook group and the video will not show up there until we are live for sure. So make sure uh, if you're on if you're if you're on Patreon and not a member for 99 cents on YouTube, you have to go to my Patreon Facebook group um, because YouTube only allows members to chat in my member only chat. But I don't want to leave out the Patreon supporters. I appreciate you just as much. Um, so I want you guys to be able to chat. We will not be in any other Facebook group. We will not be live on any other Facebook page, only in the Patreon group, or only if you're in member chat. You guys are go typing crazy. How many likes do we have? Do we have enough likes to do the giveaway now? Because I'm 
getting ready. Oh, wait, we got to get Nightbot ready. Hold on just a second. Um, okay, let me get Nightbot ready. Okay, now if you have not chatted in the last five minutes, go ahead and chat something. Uh, tell me you want to win. Tell me you're excited. Tell me what you learned today. I feel like I should just, if you guys are not seeing the chat, look at the chat. It's going so fast. What do you guys want to talk about in the next video, in the member only video? You have to have a YouTube account in order to chat on YouTube. It's free. I do giveaways every single Design Space class. So if this is your first time, make sure that you are here Um, can't wait to see your rental love the 360 videos yeah so my son took some 360 videos of my crafting rental if some of you don't know I'm gonna have a house on Airbnb that has the dream box filled with craft supplies so the people who rent it out can craft to their heart's desire Okay, so you only have to chat once to be eligible. They, he only picks from one of the chats. Okay, let me, are we ready? We're almost ready. How many likes do we have? Oh, there's my video. Okay, we have 484 likes. I think we're good. Have you guys all commented at least once? Let me find Nightbot. There you are. Okay. Here, we're going to choose a winner. We have a winner. Congratulations. Hold on. Let me show you the winner. That's not the winner yet. Nightbot already said the winner, so you guys can stop chatting so fast. The winner is Gail Conshafter. Shafter. Congratulations. Um, um, so what you need to do as the winner, you need to go to my page melodylaneinspired.com and go to the contact and tell me which um, cutie you want. I need your address and the color of cutie. Let's go back to the cuties. And we have uh, denim, periwinkle, twilight, lilac, wisteria, blush, rose, Merlot, Candy Apple, Sunflower, White, Emerald, and Mint. 
So if you miss this, you can pause this or rewatch this little part to choose yours. And remember, next month, whichever one she doesn't choose, we'll do again. Or like this lavender one, I have multiples of. The last winner chose lavender too. Some of them I have more than one. So if somebody chooses that one, it still might be from all of these. Or there may be more cuties next time. Who knows? Okay, now I need to share the project with you. So let's do that. Okay, so, oh, we need to save this one. I'll share this one too. These, if you guys support my channel of $2 or more on Patreon or um, $4.99 on YouTube, you guys will get, you have over 950 projects of mine to use. So uh, let's go to my projects. The good vibes. We're going to copy project link. And I'm going to do notes over here. I'm going to make a new note so I can copy and paste this and put it in there for you. And then the hope, copy. Okay, look for this in the chat on YouTube. Yay, we have 500 likes. So I posted both of them. So Gail wants the mint one. Okay, so here I'm going to send them a few times in the chat. Are you guys grabbing them from the chat? Um, you have to be able to chat on YouTube. How can I buy a cutie? I do have a Facebook group called Cricket Cutie Swap and people sell their cuties there. There's only one winner and it was Gail. Okay, uh, somebody says they have the good vibes and they're looking for the hope. I will copy that. Welcome Kathy and post the hope again. And I will post the good vibes again too, one more time. And then we're going to go get ready for our member only chat. So you guys all got the link. Thank you, Irma. She says Melody is the best teacher in the world. I highly doubt that, but thank you. Yes, these will be in supporter projects. So if you uh, are a supporter that gets my projects, you can grab them from my website. I will try to do them after the member chat. 
Uh, the bonus video, uh, Cheryl's asking you are a member and even anybody can watch it. It's on my channel right now. You can go to that bonus video right now on my channel and start in the chat on there right away. Uh, the video does stay up. Um, all my videos are always on YouTube, on my channel. Brenda, I see you saying you keep telling me you'd like candy apple, uh, but you're not the winner of this one. Welcome, Kathy. Okay, I'm going to send it. This is the last time, and then we're going to go. I'm going to give the links. Good vibes and hope. Okay, bye guys. Love you, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Anybody can come watch that video. I don't know what it's going to be about. It's up to the members, whatever they want to talk about or want me to show them. All right, bye guys.